Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. One of the things that I do get excited about is uh, new tools. And one of the things that, um, one of the things about woodworking that I, that I don't like is sanding. I've, I've wanted one of these sanders for quite a while. I did a lot of research on them. And there's, there's probably five brands that I considered. Grizzly was, Grizzly was probably my second choice. The reason I chose this one is I don't have a Grizzly distributor close by and this one came with a lifetime warranty and I can take, if, if something happens to it, I can take it in there and get a new one right then if they have one in stock. And Home Depot is pretty good about it and Home Depot owns a rigid company. The, the reason I chose this one though is not just for that. I did, I did a lot of research and there was a couple of them that were maybe $50 or $60 cheaper. This one was about $269, but you can find them on sale sometimes. I never seem to find them on sale when, they're, when I want it. But they, um, there's, there's a couple different ones that I looked at. Grizzly was one that I liked and um, this model right here, I'll show you a picture of it. And then uh, Wynn, W-E-N, which is a cheaper brand, they seem to have a nice one that people talked good about. And there was a couple more that I looked at, but when it came right down to it, most of the guys that were, um, that had these and were really happy with them, um, had this rigid one and they seemed to really like it. So I thought for an extra 50 bucks, you know, I, I tend to like to buy good quality tools that last a long time. And the fact that it had a lifetime warranty, you know, I mean, it's tough to go wrong with that. I can just go get a new one a year from now if it breaks or something. Anyway, um, another reason I bought this is I started making cutting boards recently. I've only made two so far, but I really enjoy it. And this sander, I pretty much bought just for that. Although I'll use it for everything. I'll, I'll use it for a lot of things. I, I really wanted it for that and so that I could sand the curves and stuff that are on my cutting boards. And I'm planning on making some pretty bigger, bigger, nicer cutting boards, and I wanted to get some tools to do that. Let's get right into this. This is an, uh, this is an unboxing of the Rigid, Rigid, what model is this? All right. This is the Rigid model. EB4424. Oscillating sander. And I've seen a lot of good reviews about it, so I hope it turns out. I'll let you know. Right off the bat, you got your flat spindle sander. Looks nice. Um, directions, Allen keys, some, these are the, your discs for your, for your round, um, spindles, different size spindles. Here's your spindles. Fun to get a new tool. I kind of try to I try to budget myself and not not get anything big. Um, you know, if I'm going to get a, a tool, I'll try to only get one big one per month. And uh, this is going to be this is going to be my tool for the month. You got sanding discs. That's good. Don't know what those are. Some little. Those are probably the spindle spacers and the nut. Empty that. Here's the guide for the spindles. And that looks like about it in this box.
Seems like there should be some rubber feet on it. Maybe that's what these are. Yeah. These are the rubber feet for it. Push those in there. Supposedly these are pretty, pretty quiet. We'll find out. So I think the first thing we're going to do is see how this goes on. That loosens it. And then right here, and this nut right here, it has a lock on it and an unlock on it, and it's a reverse thread, so, so you, to be too tight and you got this little guide here the knife this is adjustable top so basically all you have to do is loosen this and pull it up and down and that's that's it. most of the time you're gonna leave it flat I'm sure but And then on the front, you got all your storage. So you got your storage for, your, for all your discs. So you got your big disc right here. Next up, I can see I'm gonna have to order some of these discs, paper discs. I like the fact that it, it has good storage on it. Why am I missing one right there? Right off the bat, it was missing the sleeve. Although, maybe it goes on here. Let's see. It's very possible it could just go right on this thing. And I think it does. I think this one, yeah. So the, the half inch one fits right on the shaft, so it doesn't need a sleeve. So nothing was missing. That's good. Put that back on. So in the back, it has storage for this. So you also store, you can store your, uh, your flat sander. You can store your belt sander right here. So that stores there. Then when you want to change to to a flat disc, spin that around. So you have all your different ones right here. Don't know what those are for. No. Put your Allen keys right here. And these are for the washers.
We can do it so you don't have everything's on the machine. All right, let's throw let's throw one of these spindles on. Get the large disc. We need to use this big washer. And that squishes down the, the rubber that expands out onto your sandpaper. Okay, pretty easy. So you have you have a washer for each of your spindles. Allen keys down here. Set your top to whatever you want. Now I I have um, I have a dust right dust collector, and so I bought I have adapters, and this has a two inch port on the back. So we're going to put on a um, every every piece of equipment in my shop. I have uh, adapters to go to the desk right. So I basically have a four inch hose that I can hook up to any piece of equipment. And that's really kept the dust down in the shop. I haven't really heard how the dust collection is on this, but it has a two and a quarter inch port in the back. And I'm gonna hit, hook up this Rockler four inch adapter to it. Okay. I don't think we'll need this for right now. So we'll take that off and set it aside. Get some safety glasses. Hook up the rock clip. Dust collection and we should be set. I really like the size of it. I'm going to have to make a cart for it so that it's a little lower, but it really looks good. Let me get a piece of wood and we'll try it out. Actually, I needed to sand these down anyway because they were a little too big. These are some, some pins for a through mortise that I made. All right, let's test out the, the, how loud it is before I turn on my shop pack. It's pretty quiet. So it's running right now and I'm talking and I can hear myself talk. So now I'm going to turn on Dust collection. Right off the bat, my sandpaper grows up, and I think it's, I didn't have it tight enough. So it has to be a little tighter than I thought it did. Okay, let's try that again. Dust collection. Very impressive. It's, uh, can you 
I don't even know if you can hear it right now. It's super quiet. But this is going to make my life so much nicer. I am. Uh, yeah, this thing's great. Especially with the lifetime warranty. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. It's solid. It's got aluminum. Looks like an aluminum cast. I don't know what kind of top that is. It's metal metal top though. The base is all plastic. Yeah, I like it. It's a good addition to the shop. And uh, yeah, so it, I love that the dust collection is not bad. A little dust up here, but not too much. This was a piece of walnut, so it was a hard material. But it, it did really nice. Anyway, uh, yeah, a uh, new upgrade for the Outlaw, and thank you for watching. I think this uh, rigid oscillating sander, so this is a model 4243, 4-inch four oscillating sander by Rigid, and it looks like I'm going to be pretty happy with it. I'll probably do another review in a couple months after I've used it for a little while. But this unboxing, I'm really happy with it. And I, I kind of knew what I was going to get. I, I did a lot of research on it. And there was a lot of people that were pretty happy. And yeah, let's, uh, we'll build a cart for this and um, we'll get a lot of years use out of it. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of Outlaw Woodworking. If you'd like to subscribe, subscribe, hit the bell, like the video, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Later.